I think we got her sold. Right? So, being the nice guy that I am. So, the guy's coming from Idaho to get the truck. But, here's the thing. Is he asked me. I don't know where from Idaho he's coming. But he messaged me yesterday and was like, hey, you think you can possibly meet me halfway? Uh, he's up in Salt Lake right now, well, Ogden area. Um, I took off my, I was going to leave him on, but I took him off um, by cat's eyes. I think I'm going to try to put him on that truck. But anyways, he... Uh, he asked, can I meet half, can you meet me halfway? Because I have like 12 hours to drive or something. I, I don't know. It's like, whatever. But, uh, I'm too nice. I'm too nice, I guess. But I told him, yeah, I'll meet you in Fillmore. Right? So, Fillmore is about 100 miles from me. And from where he was at, it was 156 miles. So that's as close as uh, halfway as I'm going to get, right? So he said he was supposed to check out about 7.30 in the morning. It is now 7.40. And I figured, well, I'll put the signs on. Hopefully don't get pulled over. I don't know. <laughs> I mean... I kind of have a paperwork that says I have insurance, right? But once it gets to Fillmore, it's no longer my problem. Probably going to have to stick some fuel in, which not really wasn't... I, I got like a quarter of a tank in here, which is like... I planned it, you know, when I parked it, that there wouldn't be that much fuel in there. But I guess we're going to have to throw like... 30, 40 gallons in, I don't know, but anyways, we'll let you know, we will let you know if this puppy gets sold today, well, we got the text, so let's fire this old girl up one last time, let's do a pre-trip on her, fire her up one last time, right, check the oil, I'm gonna miss this old girl. Well, I didn't forget to learn how to drive a stick. Right? Huh? I remember that there's a clutch. So. Nah, I never had that problem. I mean, the problem that I had was, um, was in, oh, was in the automatic was I was grabbing for a clutch, right? It was like putting my foot down to the ground on something that wasn't even there. Uh, let's see if we still got Jake's. Jake still work. So, like I said, I'm going to stop and get some fuel. And, uh, yeah, see, we got, I mean, this gauge. Come on. It's hard to do steering and shifting and recording at the same time, but. So, we'll get a splash of fuel in there. Whatever. But, yes, sir. Oh, I cleaned the windshield there in Cedar, and it's completely buggied up again. I let him know of the crack. I said, hey, I could probably get it fixed on Monday, but, again, he's coming from Idaho. So, he wanted to pick it up this weekend. Uh, so, we've been talking since last week, and... Again, 
he got a hold of me on Thursday morning while I was going out of town. I was coming up here to Salt Lake. So, um, cause I was like, Hey dude, I could get it. They'll have it here on Friday, but I probably won't be able to get it installed until Monday. Cause again, I'm going to be gone until Saturday. So, uh, so I tried, I tried to get that fixed, but he said he's doing local work out in Idaho in the fields. So I don't know, maybe he's doing potatoes, uh, which again is perfect for this truck, right? Doing local work, uh, doing OTR, not so much. But all that to say, I am definitely gonna miss this truck, man. I, I really enjoy driving it. It is such a fun truck to drive. Uh, it's just super, super uncomfortable to drive, right? So. I mean, not uncomfortable to drive, uncomfortable to live in for a week or two weeks at a time. Uh, in the summer, it's too hot. In the winter, it's too cold. But here's our exit. Let's see if we can get some jakeys going. It's nice and warm out here, too. I didn't use my blinker. So we're meeting over here at the Lovey Dubbies. So, all right, we'll let you know how it goes. Well, there she goes for her test drive, <laughs> right? There she goes. Well, I will probably regret selling that truck, but it's cool. I think I told you. I think I said it's gonna be hauling like 100 to 120 pounds grain and uh, what else did he say? Grain and hay. So double train. 100, 120,000, and he said he's gonna set, uh, it's gonna be used as a backup truck. So I guess that's good. Nice, cheap backup truck. Got the daughter. So, all right, well, there's the conclusion to that saga.